able to tell straight away, I'm not from these ends. I'm not from down there, no. I'm a northerner, I'm from Manchester. But now, hey, that's it, that's it. But I've recently moved down here to London to be amongst you guys. So I'm hoping you'll take me in. Okay, first thing I want to talk about is this. Has anybody seen this before? This formula was presented in a book in the 1970s called The Inner Game of Tennis. And it's a formula which has been popular throughout sports psychology. It doesn't just apply to sports psychology. It applies to the psychology of any success. So what does it mean? Potential minus interference equals performance. So we're all born with a unique amount of God-given potential. Okay? But then throughout our lives, there's many different levels of interference we get. And that hinders our performance. So, lack of self-confidence. You know you're new to this, and we can all lack self-confidence at times. What else? Trying too hard. How many times is it when you, you're trying something really hard, you're trying to be the best at something, really get it right, and it's almost like you're trying too hard and you're making mistakes. Sure we've been there before, right? Yeah? Yeah. I've been there. I know you have too. What about? Anger and frustration. This happens when sometimes we don't get the result we expect. So we're expecting a certain result and we don't get it. And we've seen from the talks before, the markets, we're expecting one thing and if it doesn't come, what's your emotional reaction to that? Because that will determine how you perform in the future. And I'm going to talk to you about how you can take something which holds most people back and how can you use it like the most successful people in any era, any field, sports, training, business, relationships. How do they take that fear and how do they use it to make them excel? How? Wanting perfection. Now that's a big one in training, wanting to be right. Is that going to